Hi, I'm Travis Elliott with National Control Devices. Today I'm going to be talking to you about another type of protocol for controlling our devices. We've covered wired communications, now we're going to go over wireless communications. There are five different wireless communication protocols we support for controlling our devices. The first one here is Wi-Fi, this is Bluetooth, this is Zigbee, ZB Mesh, and XSC. All these are completely different. Uh, they don't communicate with each other. They're their own protocols, kind of like the difference between Ethernet and USB. They're totally different. Um, I'm going to cover the first two here, which you're probably familiar with. Everyone's heard of them. Everyone pretty much knows how to use them. If you don't, um, we'll get in depth that more later with some more specified videos on how to use our controllers with these communications. The first one I'm going to talk about here is Ethernet. We have a huge line of Ethernet controllers for our devices. Um, we have Ethernet, or I'm sorry, Wi-Fi relay controllers, A to D converters, contact closure detectors, just about anything you could imagine on our product line is available in Wi-Fi. Um, one nice thing about Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi and Ethernet are very closely related. You can kind of think of Wi-Fi as wireless Ethernet. As I've covered before, um, our devices work much like a network printer would, as you can access that printer from multiple computers on a network. You can do the same thing with our Wi-Fi relay devices. You can access our devices from multiple computers on a network. So that's kind of nice if you need to wirelessly control our products from multiple computers. You might consider Wi-Fi. It has a pretty good communication range. Um, just, just about the same as any other Wi-Fi device would. So you might consider that, especially if you're already um, know a lot about networking, Wi-Fi could be the way to go for you if you're looking for a wireless protocol. The next one here is Bluetooth. And I gotta say, the whole world is just Bluetooth crazy right now. So we've released a line of Bluetooth controllers. We have relay controllers, A to D inputs, contact closure controllers, all kinds of things available in Bluetooth. The nice thing about Bluetooth is you can control these things from your mobile phone. If you're using a smartphone that runs Windows Mobile 6 or higher, you can control our devices with your mobile phone. So that's really nice. I can just pull out my smartphone and turn relays on and off using it. We actually have some software available on our website called the Promote software, which I'll get into in a later video, that can be used to control our devices. So that's, that's a really nice feature about Bluetooth is it's easy to integrate into a lot of systems because most things these days are using Bluetooth. Now this, uh, these other three you may have never heard of before, but I got to say Zigbee is probably my favorite. Um, as far as wireless communication goes, it's very high power. If you get the Zigbee modules, that have the high power modules with external antennas, these things can go up to a mile range under ideal conditions. As with all of these controllers, your environment is going to highly affect the range of your wireless signal. If you have a lot of walls, if you have a lot of distance, things of that nature, obstacles in between the devices, it's gonna hinder your wireless communications a little bit. So I always recommend overrating your, your signal strength so you can uh, compensate for these types of things. If you purchase a Zigbee controller with the high powered module and the external antenna, you're going to get the best results from this wireless protocol. I'll cover this more in depth in later videos on how to use it, some of its strengths, some of its abilities. Uh, and some of its cons, but we'll get into that later. But I gotta say, this one here is probably my favorite. Get into it, do your studying, do your research before you purchase these products. There is a little bit to know, but if you're willing to study and you're willing to read a little bit, 
this is a wonderful communications protocol, so look into that. My second favorite is probably ZB Mesh. Now, ZB Mesh works a lot like Zigbee does. The difference is you can attach this coordinator to your computer much as you do with a Zigbee. You just attach this to your computer and it's what communicates to the devices. With Zigbee Mesh you can attach what's called a coordinator to your computer and you can communicate to our devices. Now the nice thing about Zigbee Mesh over Zigbee is these things kind of work as a network. Um, say I have this controller you know, and say it's you know 300 feet or so away from my coordinator, and then I have another controller that's maybe another 300 feet past that. Well, I can't communicate from my ZB Mesh coordinator directly to that controller that's 600 feet away. It's just too far, and my wireless signal won't make it that far. What I can do is I can install a router module on this controller which you'll be asked at checkout whether you want an endpoint or a router module on your controller. If I have a router on here I can pass communication from my coordinator and I can send it as if I was sending it directly to that device even though it can't make it. What it will do is kinda like throwing a bouncy ball. It's gonna send the communication to this device. This device will receive it and say oh this isn't for me it's for the next device and it'll pass it on down the line to that device. And it can go through a long stream of devices before making it to its final destination. So this works as kind of a network and it'll pass communications on along for you if you use routers. So that's one nice thing about ZB Mesh. So you might look into that if you have a building where you're going to have a coordinator at a computer and then multiple devices, but your coordinator can't reach all of them directly it can reach those end devices by going through router devices. So look into that and as I said I'll do more videos on this later get a little more in depth with how it works. But That's just kind of a broad idea of how that works. Now lastly we have XSC. XSC is a long range wireless communication. We actually offer different antenna options for all of these XSC is the only one that has a very massive antenna. This is great if you need to pass communication from building to building that might be a little ways apart. These things, if you get the high powered antenna on both ends, are capable of about 15 miles under ideal condition, meaning line of sight, the two antennas can see each other and uh, there's good communications. You can, they are rated for up to 15 miles. So that is a really, really powerful wireless protocol. This would be our most powerful wireless devices. But sometimes it can be overkill. If you only need to go less than a mile, maybe think more like Zigbee or ZB Mesh. The hardware for this can get rather expensive if you have the large antennas on two places. So use that if you need it. If you don't need it, think about using something else. Maybe you could put a device halfway between the two things and you could use a ZB Mesh device. Or maybe you can get directly from point to point using a Zigbee device. Now one thing that is confusing about these is all the modules, they're all blue, they're kind of all shaped the same, they're completely different. Zigbee is actually referred to as Series 1. ZB Mesh is referred to as Series 2. These are totally different things and they will not mesh together. They won't talk to each other. They're speaking totally different languages. So don't try and integrate them both into the same network because it will never work. Um, connectivity to these is really easy. You can get one of these modems and it just has a USB port right here and you just connect a USB uh, to your computer to this device and download some drivers to create virtual COM ports and you can communicate. Now with Zigbee you can have a whole bunch of devices on one network and you can address them all individually or you can address them all at once. I could turn on Relay 1 
on 20 devices with one command. Or I could turn on Relay 1 on just one controller. ZB Mesh and XSC kind of work the exact same way. So that's kind of a brief overview of our wireless communications. Um, consider all of these whenever you're setting up for your application and we probably have exactly the device that you need for your specific application. So like I said, with these three here, do your studying, do your homework. I'm not going to lie to you, ZB Mesh is rather complicated, but with complication comes great ability. This has some amazing abilities. Uh, we have a lot of companies that are using these and they'll bang their head up against a wall for a week or two and once they figure it out they absolutely fall in love with it. These are wonderful devices. Zigbee's a little simpler um, in that you don't have the network to deal with but still you need to do your studying on these three to completely understand them. You want to know the ins and the outs of these communications. Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are a little bit simpler they don't quite have some of the abilities that these do, but if you're integrating them into a network or you want to control from your mobile phone, they're ideal. So be sure and consider all these whenever thinking about your application. And if you have any questions on anything, you can contact me. My name's Travis. I'm available by email at travis at controlanything.com or you can give us a call here at the office. Our number is 417-646-5644, and I'll be happy to answer any of your questions. So that pretty well covers this, and I'll look forward to talking to you and some more videos that we'll be posting. Thank you very much.